Evening, British Two Far today. The lads are learning from a massive experience of the game. A couple of maybe mistakes throughout, but overall they fought to the bitter end. Fought to the bitter end. One or two things happened, I thought, in the first half. We we're absolutely cynical hurling. Um, and at least that leaves us a little bit of a sore taste, you know. Um, but look, we were beaten by a better team. Um, Cork physically dominated us in the second half, that 10 minutes after half time when they really pushed on. And fair play to them, they're a better team than us today, they showed it on the scoreboard. And look, that's the way it is, but it just, you know, that cynicalism. Um, Cork player, an awfully player went through there, what, 15 minutes to go, pulled straight to the ground, right, penalty in the first half. Like, there's things that happens, you know, and it's not our responsibility in the sideline. And all we can do is ask questions. Right? And if, if, as they wear, uh, sorry, as they wear on their sleeve, give respect, get respect. You know? Yeah, well, certainly there was times where Offaly were dominant for maybe 15, 20 minutes in that first half. It's probably very frustrating when you're feeling, and the crowd is feeling, there's going to be another goal coming for Offaly at the expense. You have to go back, pop those balls over the bar. It is very frustrating. There was a lot of conversation half time on social media about the cynicism of maybe of that core team and it probably is where the game maybe awfully could have had a, a five six point cushion at half time if it was the other way around yeah but like i know not cork were a better team today as i said physically dominated us in the second half um we were getting the ball it's actually easier for us to play against wind first half because the ball was going in easier because it was going in at the right level and where we wanted it to be but like, it's just very frustrating. We had three players, rounded cart defenders, then no one between them and goal, and three times they were pulled down. One of them was a penalty, right? And two other occasions. So, you know, it's just very, very frustrating. The lads didn't react negatively at all. They were getting a bit of off the ball treatment up and down. Given it as well, they held their heads, uh, they played to the final whistle. They've given you so much. And Shane Rigney's goal was applauded as if off you for winning with the last book of the game. Yeah. A word on the off support today. Listen, I said it, and I've spoken to a lot of people over the last couple of weeks, right, and I turn around and tell you, that awfully army that's there today, because it's like getting them up, getting them going, and that's what they do, and the support has been absolutely phenomenal, right, and it has been, like, it's just something that you see the hunger that's there for this, um, and certainly one that we won't go away, we'll be back, we'll come back next year fighting, there's, as I said, there's 10 of the certain team today on the next year, three or four more come on that are all, that'll be there next year as well, like, so, you know, it's positive, but yes, you know, it's just, you, you just don't do these things, you know, at certain times. And today was one of those days we were beaten by a better team, and no doubt about that. Going beyond today, you spoke about the age profile of your panel and your extended panel. Just one second, let's talk to one for Brian, 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 Brian. I'll get him in a One second. Going beyond today, of course. The panel is in huge positive health age profile. You have 19 guys sitting or leaving start Wednesday. Of the 36 you've had on your extended panel today, maybe 20, 22 of them underage. 27 of them underage, yeah, actually. Yeah, huge. And like, mm. you will gather yourselves down. It's swallow the disappointment of it today, reflect on it. There's a huge future still ahead. There is, Joel, and that's the most important thing. And I said it, I said it to a couple of you that we get back up to McCarthy Cup level, and that's the most important thing. We just, you know, two years in a row is hard to take at times, you know, and look. When you think back on it, we've had a great two years, but yet we haven't got over the line. We will get there, right? And whether it's at get back up to McCarthy Cup level, which I hope we hope we do, but in terms of everything else, I just think that you know it's hugely positive for us. Leo, that game could have really gotten away from me, and we stayed plugging away in fairness, which is you know I take a lot of heart from that. I'd say. Mm-hmm. But I don't know that, like. It's one of those games with 10, 12 minutes to go where it was really getting really, really tough. You saw the physical conditioning of the Cork boys. You know, that's a team that's, I know there's still a lot of them on the next year as well. But look, we'll be back. We're, we're a work in progress. And that's the way I look at it. The five points they got just before half time. Did that kind of change the momentum? Um, there's a lot of things, you know. That game was really, really tough. Um, there's a lot of things happens. And like I wouldn't say it was the five points. I just think it was straight away after half time, the five minutes after half time, that you know that conceding that one three very, very quick. And that's that's one of the things. But did, as as Michael said, we dug in there and we hung on in there and we we didn't give up on it. Yeah, I think we won eleven for a point in that period. Of yeah. Five minutes, five, as I said, that's time. the physical conditioning of Cork and that's that's the strength and conditioning of them. You know so. That's the way it goes. Like you see Cork last week against the Limerick Senior Hurling team last week, who were physically conditioned and met him like for like, you know. And like Cork have a long way to go too, you know. But it's a step, another step in the sun for Cork as it is for for Offaly. Yeah. Just 
understand the penalty, did you feel it could have been a red card even for that? You tell me. I thought so. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you feel there seemed to be a lot of off the ball kind of intimidation or This is what I'm getting at, right? Okay. We went to the fourth official. We went to the, we spoke to the linesman. Brian, congratulations, that's fine. So let us have a little Yeah, all right. Cheers, get up. But it's just one of those things that, you know, as I said, give respect, get respect. Was it at half time he spoke to the fourth official? We were constantly speaking to Tris. Constantly speaking. Because what do you think? Do you think there's a lot of cynicalness? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know. And there was a cynical foul penalty in Cork carrying the football yesterday. Is that implemented at this level? Or is that Apparently, there's no black card under 20 levels, only at senior level. Yeah. Oh. So that's something that you think probably would need to claim off the back of today, baby. Well, we can't really say anything because the powers of be will be down my throat, won't they? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, the all, I have a father referee, three All Ireland's. Right? Yeah. Refereeing was in my house all his life. Right? I'm not giving out about the referee, but I am saying. Right, you've got to question him with the cynical nature of what went on in the first half today. Do you think like, the linesman should be doing more in that kind of situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Going around the circles, yeah. we get the message. Leo, was Cormac's yeah. injury anyway related or coming off? Is that anyway related to the tackle or what was mm. this like? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it is. Like a HIA or? No, no. I, we think he's broken ribs. Okay. 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 So. Does that answer that? Yeah, it won't get you in any more trouble.